you going to read your own announcement? <laughs> Mr. Chairman, start. Returning <laughs> <laughs> emails. Go ahead and call this uh, special meeting to order. Uh, thank all of you for being here again. I know that it was uh, what a week ago or so that we met. Um, but obviously today we have some very important business to take care of and without further ado I would like to ask for the ado adoption of the agenda before you so move second. A motion and a second Any further discussion all in favor signify by saying aye aye okay motion carries um, we have our strategic session outflow and the destination study that uh, that uh, we uh, conducted the interviews on, and I'll turn it over to Glenn to give us a, uh, a rundown on, the, uh, on, on that day. Well, it, those who might judge your actions on the length expected of this meeting might not be fully aware of what the impact had been of this. Obviously, we took um, proposals back in October. We received them back in November. Um, they were vetted. We had three different panels, uh, which we have some people that are in this room that participated in those. We had, had staff groups look at them, and we, we vetted them and scored them, and then brought them forward to you. At your December 12th meeting, you asked that we have form a panel of, of um, folks that would include some of you on it and some outside people. And we did that. That panel has met, and they have reviewed. And there was a healthy diversity of opinion on that panel. The panel did, however, reach um, a consensus after hearing presentations in person from each of these, except for one group that made their presentation um, from their snow, snowbound um, offices there in, the, um, in, in Boston, as it was. So they had an opportunity to examine these people and to speak to them and to carry on conversations. After your consensus was reached, you asked staff to reach out for some references that were of a specific type um, from the um, sports advisory of people who had used their services to investigate a facility for them, but whom they did not choose to manage their facility, and equally for references um, in that same genre for us to do. That work has... Um, has been advanced and we are in the part of doing that due diligence and we're in the we're, we're not com totally complete on that now but we're at a stage where um, we feel comfortable that you could authorize the chairman to award um, to sign a contract um, based on the recommendation from the advisory panel after the due diligence is completed as an option you might allow that if something comes up um, you can either choose that we bring it back to you or you can choose option two in which you allow empower the chairman to sign an agreement with the number two choice should you desire to do that. I have no evidence that we will have to use that option. I'm just merely reacting to what might be your, um, your desire to proceed as quickly as possible. We all know we have wanted this to, to, to advance at a good pace and we want it to be deliberative, but at the same time, you didn't want to have anything that would stall the actions. So, Mr. Chairman and the authority members, I present to you those two or other options, which includes not to do anything, um, for your consideration. Thank you, Glenn. And uh, just as a point of discussion, I mean, we spent a great deal of time not only uh, on, on Friday, but prior to that, the committee that had previously reviewed it and then we spent a half a morning giving hour segments to each candidate that was chosen to that point to give a full presentation, very good presentations, and all well-qualified candidates. And then we spent some time discussing and evaluating each and every candidate. So, I mean, I think the due diligence was done as, as appropriate as you can get it. And so, um, again, a, a a lot of time and effort has gone into making sure that we choose who we think may be the right uh, company to, to represent us. Well, as somebody who sat in on the last session, um, I was impressed with the work, and I think 
for those of you that weren't, um, I believe the first vote was 443. Is that the first? Uh, mm -hmm. So you can tell from that or, that uh, these folks were very competent and they made a great impression. Um, but as we went around the table and, and kind of picked at each one of them, then we came to a very good consensus. But I was very impressed with, uh, with the panel being able to have a 443 vote because that, that tells me the, the panel was uh, doing their diligence and the firms were good. And that's why you get something like that, in my opinion. So uh, I, I, I think it's uh, it's a good thing for us. I, I personally felt we couldn't make a bad choice. That's how I felt about the three uh, three finals. But well, what was interesting to me is, you know, when we looked at these uh, proposals and you, you read through them and, and you develop sort of a mindset of who each company is, and then when we did the visual proposals, I had some different thoughts throughout that whole process as other people did as well so it was a good process to go through I thought it was very valuable to do it that way um, because you get a really different picture when they're in front of you and are actually uh, doing a different sort of presentation so um, time well spent if I may ask how many proposals were there? Uh, four. Four. four these the four no, that is an example of the work of the firm that you asked us to provide, that the panel asked us to get some um, examples of their work. Right, Ernie, what we did is when we actually came down to the final uh, uh, company that we all sort of agreed on, mm -hmm. there was uh, a mention that we would like some references, and, and that's, what, that's what Glenn has here is uh, examples of work that they've completed and that we can actually look at facilities that... that, that you know, they were a part of, and that's what you have before you. All right, so the uh, one that was selected was the Sports Facility Advisory? Yes. Mr. Chairman, if there's no one else who, who wants to add anything, I'm ready to consider option two um, and award after the contract work is completed, but authorize a second choice. Um, and I would further say that we had authorized the chairman to sign a contract with the sports advisory to perform services as previously authorized by the authority after the work of the staff is complete. Should any concerns or impediment to a successful end for the authority arise, the chairman is authorized to instruct staff to work with the second choice firm to achieve a successful agreement. I Jim, would put that in the form of choice? motion. I had to leave. What was the second choice? Okay. Uh, that is option two. What's the name of the company? We, we, didn't, the we, the company. we didn't reveal that publicly. And gotcha. We'll, you know, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, um, thank you. We might want to hold that. Yeah. yeah. Understood. Okay. Thank you. We have notified the firms that you would you were considering action today um, for the sports facility advisory, but that there would be potentially an action that would cause them not to get the contract. Because obviously I couldn't commit what, what you folks would do. You are the authority. And just a point of clarification, the assuming option two was voted in, the, the second is the second choice automatically the one that's going to be considered, is there going to be a re-vetting or re-evaluation? Uh, re that, that's, that's your option, that's obviously, the option but the motion the he has stated would be that the second choice would simply move up to the first and choice. And we don't foresee anything coming back derogatory at this point with okay. the work that we've done, but so that we don't have to call for a special meeting again and take you guys back out. Uh, there is a, a secondary choice that was well qualified that we'll have to go through the same process as what we've asked this company to do as well. So we could either come back to a special meeting and talk about it again or you can authorize me to just move through that process. Well I, may, I would make that in the form of a motion. Okay. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Second. Mm -hmm. Any further discussion? Well I would echo what Glenn just uh, referred to, and that is 
we, we need to be prudent in settling with this firm before we announce. I, personally, I don't think we should announce who the second choice was. Mm -hmm. We should just notify mm -hmm. the other mm -hmm. folks. Yeah. We've been involved we need to, you know, down no. through the years with situations yeah. like that, and it it's hasn't always worked out real yeah, good. Right. So, uh, and they understand. The firms understand. But we're very excited. We're very excited to move into this next phase. Um, we haven't voted yet, Mr. Chairman. No, we haven't. <laughs> but I'm still excited. <laughs> and for that, we're very happy. <laughs> From where we started, we're excited. <laughs> All right, any further discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carries. Now I'm real excited. <laughs> now we're excited. Yeah. Okay, well, um, if there's no other business, I know that everyone's uh, busy. We will keep you up to date once. Everything has been vetted, and we do uh, move forward. We'll send an email out to the to the members so that you know that everything's been executed uh, and that we're moving forward. Is there any other questions or concerns? The only thing, um, Carmela, remind me to let you know as we communicated with you the last time that we do have um, applications now available for the Tourism Development Fund. Uh, March third is the deadline. Um, we have seen um, uh, some interest already. And um, we're pushing those words out as it is, too. Um, I have received some phone calls in regards to that. And um, I've just encouraged everyone to put in their application that there is a process. Because I've had some organizations come for some capital projects and some other things. So we're just encouraging everyone to complete the application process and turn them in. And then uh, they'll move down uh, that path to see if they can get you know, to the second level, so to speak. So, Okay. Uh, Mr. Chairman, before we adjourn, I just wanted to personally thank the Jacksonville, the, the Jacksonville Tourism uh, Development Authority, as well as the staff members, Glenn and Carmela, uh, for their work in the jazz in the city. I know there's going to be an after-action report, but I just want to say thank you for allowing us to uh, provide the citizens of Jacksonville with a quality, I mean, it was a quality show, and I believe we had a grand slam. But we will uh, inform you of, uh, of that in the after action report. We're very pleased this past weekend, and thank you. Thank you. Good music. <laughs> it was a great event. Heads on beds with dinner. <laughs> Heads on beds, yeah. Good. Especially the band. Clayton Band came down. Yeah. Yeah, I think I fed those guys. Well, you did. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate it. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much. Uh, we'll need a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you, guys.